Musa was living in a small village where the only source of employment for the people was farming. Musa went to the city with his father to sell their crops. In the city he noticed how much the people of the city had progressed with science and technology while the people of the village are still there where their ancestors were and their generations were doing the same. Musa saw the computer for the first time as people were doing their calculations and worked quickly on it. He also saw that the people living in one city are aware of everything even about other countries. Musa was very surprised to see all this and was forced to think that the city has developed so much and everyone is moving forward. But in the village, the people do not even know whether it will rain tomorrow or not. And due to no forecasting of weather, their crops will be damaged. They work hard, but they never progress. Musa decided to take the people of his village to the point where the people of the city were. He learned how to use the internet and computer by working very hard in the city. When he returned to his village, he formed a team of young boys. He made it his goal to introduce techniques to grow better crops and new facilities to his village. He spent hours researching on the internet and telling people that how can they grow new crops and increase the production of their crops. A very important task of the team was to further deep research the work done by Musa and convey it to the people in the right way. This way, Musa's village also started to develop. People started reading, understanding things and developing themselves. Just as the people of the city know about technology and everything. One day, a website of artificial intelligence was launched on the internet. The name of the website was ChatGPT. From this website, all kinds of information could be taken in just a few minutes. When Musa found out this website, he started to ignore his team because he started doing his research work through ChatGPT. His mindset changed that he no more needed a team as he was doing all his research through this website. But he didn't have any idea about the research information of this website is not accurate to some extent. And the website also cannot do what human mind and logical reasoning can do. When he introduced techniques taught by Chad GPT to villagers, a lot of damage started to happen. People stopped trusting Musa and also cursed him for their loss. Musa realized that any information can be obtained from this website in minutes, but it also requires a team of humans to verify whether the information is correct or not. So Musa first apologized to his team and villagers. And then through this website and his team, all together he started working as he had done before. Then gradually his village developed like a city. But Musa kept learning about computer and technology.